Good morning class, I am Ma'am Blessy Bondoc, your teacher for your subject, MPE3, Individual or Dual Sports. How are you today? I hope that you are all safe during this time of pandemic. So before we start, let us pray first. So we offer you God our studies and our prayer and we beg you to enlighten our minds and make us ever pleasing to you. Amen. Before we proceed to the discussion, let us check your attendance first. So please open your cameras and I will take a screenshot which will serve as your attendance for today. So before we start our lesson, let me discuss first the rules that you are all should follow during the discussion. So the first rule, go to a place where you are comfortable and make sure that your internet connection is secure and stable. And second, wear proper uniform or any formal clothes that will make you look presentable. Keep your camera on during the discussion. Mute your microphone if you don't have anything to say unless it is your turn to speak. And last, enjoy the discussion. Are we clear with the rules class? Alright, let's have a short review about our previous lesson. Class, who among you remembers the topic from the previous lesson? Anyone? Please state your surname first if you want to answer. Yes, Ian. Very good. You are correct. The topic that we discussed last meeting is all about skilled related fitness components. So to make sure that you remember the previous lesson that we discussed, let's have a game and this game is called Guess Me. So for the direction, give the missing letters in the spelling boxes to reveal the correct word pertaining to skill related fitness components being described in each item. Kindly state your surname if you want to answer and wait for your teacher to call your name before you state your answer. Are you clear with the direction and instruction class? Then let's start. It is uh, the ability to move quickly and easily. What is the correct answer or the correct word class? Any volunteer to class? Yes, Pinuljar. Okay, let's see if you are correct. So, the correct answer is agility. Very good, Pinuljar. Next, we have this word with missing letters. The organization of the different elements of complex body or activity to enable them to work together effectively. Any volunteer? Class. Anyone from the class? Yes, Sanchez. Let us see if you are correct. Nice one, Sanchez. That's correct. The answer is coordination. So next class, please analyze the sentence carefully. It is referred to a person's ability to transfer energy into force at a rapid pace, also known as explosive body movement. Anyone who knows the correct answer? Yes, Vergara. Let's see if you got the correct answer. You are right, Vergara. The answer is power. Well done. It seems that you already understand the skill-related fitness components class. I think it's time for us to move on to our next topic, which are going to discuss this morning. Are you excited, class? So before I introduce the topic that we are going to discuss for today, since you don't have any idea about the topic that we are going to discuss Let's play another game for you to have an idea about it. This game is called Clue Joints. So for the direction, give the missing letters in the spelling boxes to reveal the correct word pertaining to skill-related fitness components being described in each item. Kindly state your surname if you want to answer and wait for your teacher to call your name before you state your answer. Are you clear with the direction, class? If yes, let's start the game. For the first word, here are the pictures. Class, class what is the correct answer? Yes, Trisha. 
Let us see if that is correct. So the correct answer is strokes. Very good, Trisha. Your answer is correct. So next picture. Guess the correct word class. Yes, Mamuntos. Is it correct? Yes! It's shuttlecock. You are correct. Next picture. For our last picture, we have... Class, who wants to answer? Yes, Padilla. Let's see if you are correct, Padilla. Great, Padilla. The answer is serving. So, thank you for participating class. Now, based on the game or short activity that we did earlier, what do you think is our topic for this morning? Any volunteer? Anyone from the class? Yes, Villanueva. Yes, exactly, Villanueva. The topic that we are going to discuss this morning is all about the basic skills in badminton so for the learning objectives at the end of this lesson the student should be able to identify what is badminton and its equipment history nature and background next demonstrate each of the basic badminton skills including the grips and strokes Last, appreciate the importance of proper execution of each badminton skills and its types. So now, let us start with the definition of badminton. So what is the game badminton? Will you please read Sabas? Thank you for reading Sabas. So badminton is a racket sport played by either singles or doubles. The aim of the game is to win points by hitting a shuttlecock across the net and into your opponent's court. Are we clear with the definition of badminton class? So if yes, let us move on the nature and background of badminton. So the nature and background of badminton. Badminton was believed to be originated from India with its Initial name Puna during the 17th century. Actually, the game badminton started in India with the name Puna during the 17th century. And do, during that time, it was played by the English army officers stationed in India. And later, on this game was brought to England in 1870 by the Duke of Beaufort, which the people in England played this game as their pastime. So the name of the game, which is badminton, is derived from the place name badminton as well. So that is the nature and background of badminton class. Do you have any question class? So if none, let's proceed to the equipment that is used in playing badminton. So for the equipment class, these are the three main equipment that is used in playing badminton. Let us start with the racket. Will you please read Asuncion? Thank you. The use of racket is to strike the shuttlecock in a badminton match. Next, we have the shuttlecock. Shuttlecock is a high drag projectile used in the sport of badminton. It has an open conical shape formed by feathers or plastic embedded into a rounded court base. Shuttlecock is also known as bird or birdie. It is a small cork hemisphere with 14 to 16 goose feather attached and weighing about 0.17 ounce. So shuttlecock is made from the feather or goose. Do you understand class? Okay, so next we have the net. Will you please read Pinuliar? So net is a mesh net that divides the court into two sides. The people on the side is 156 centimeter high while the net height is 76 centimeter. Class, are we clear with the definition, history, and equipment of badminton? 
So again, can you please enumerate the three main equipment used in badminton? Agustin? Okay, very good, Agustin. Do you have any question, class? So if none, let us move to our next topic, which is the basic skills in badminton. So let us start with the gripping. What is gripping? Will you, read, will you please read Mamuntos? Thank you, Mamuntos. So, forehead grip is used to hit shots that are on the forehead side of your body and around the head shots. Do you know, class, that gripping, gripping is the foundation of learning badminton? Class, playing badminton will start with how you hold your racket. At this is the first thing that you should learn in playing badminton so we have two types of gripping in badminton and these are forehand grip or handshake grip and backhand grip let's start discussing the forehand grip will you please read Padilla okay thank you this grip is usually used if you will hit forehand strokes so how to perform this grip here are the steps on how to properly do this grip. So first, put your non-racket hand on the shaft of the racket. Place your racket hand on string area and slide it down until you reach the handle of your racket. And close your three fingers and put your thumb above the middle finger. And form a V-shape between the index finger and thumb. And for you to better understand it, I will prepare the video tutorial on how to properly do this grip. Please watch it carefully. Now class, it's time to demonstrate it. Who wants to demonstrate it, class? Any volunteer? Yes, Montefalco. Class, in that position of holding your racket, it will help you to switch to backhand grip easily. Next one, Montefalco. Are we clear with the forehand grip, class? Then let us proceed to the next grip, which is the backhand grip. So what is backhand grip? Will you please read Cruz? So thank you. So backhand grip, also known as the thumb grip, is similar to the forehand grip except the complete button of the thumb in, in, in contact with the third level and the index finger is lowered down to a position below the thumb. Class, the, this grip is usually used for defense. For you to have a better understanding, here are the steps that you should follow in performing this grip. So first, place your thumb on the white part to achieve a proper handle. Thumb should be placed correctly on the racket handle. Clench loosely on the handle and tighten only when it is executed. Again, here's the video tutorial for the grip. Please watch it carefully and learn. Class, it's your turn to, per to perform this grip. Any volunteer? Yes, Ganiban. 
Well done, Ganiban. In backhand grip, you're just like doing a thumbs up. Are you clear with the gripping class? Okay, if you are really listening, can you please tell me the two types of grip that we just discussed earlier? Any volunteer? Anyone from the class? Yes, Yambot. Very good, Yambot. You are correct. The two types of gripping are the forehand grip and the backhand grip. So, do you have any questions about gripping class? If none, let's proceed to the next skill, which is strokes. So, before we continue our discussion, here are some remind reminders. So, safety first. Go to a place where you are comfortable and safe to move freely. And be careful in using your badminton rackets. I'll give you 30 seconds to get ready and go to places that you are comfortable and safe. Alright, now that is uh, stroke. stroke. A stroke is the swing motion of our rocket arm. Basically, a stroke is how you strike the shuttle cock in your opponent's court. So we have five basic strokes or hits in badminton. And these are clear shot, trap shot, net shot, or shot, uh, drive shot, smash shot. Let us discuss first the clear shot. So what is clear shot? Will you please read Nitura? Thank you Nitura. So a clear shot is a high overhand shot where the player hits the shuttlecock from the from one end on the court to one to other end. Class. Clear shot is commonly used to buy more time for you to return to your base before the next turn. It is a good defense to prevent your opponent from hitting a smash shot. For your better understanding, here's a video example of clear shot. Please watch it carefully class because after watching the video, you are going to demonstrate it later. Class, who wants to demonstrate it? Any volunteer? Yes, Bautista. Good job, Bautista. So, any question with clear shot, class? Okay, next skill. We have the drop shot. Will you please read Duena? So, thank you, Duena. Drop shot is usually made with the stroke above the head. The shuttle traveling up but dropping just near the net. It is usually done for placing for possess. Class executing this stroke will trick your opponent into believing you are going to hit a clear or smash shot. So it means that you can also use this stroke as a technique. So let us play the video example on how to proper execute that stroke. Watch it carefully, class. Now, it's your turn to perform it. Class. Yes, Nebes. 
Great Nieves. Class, are you still there? Please make a thumbs up if you can still hear me. Thank you. Next row, we have the net drop or shot. So net drop or shot. This is shot is normally done with the stroke below the head. And the shuttle traveling just barely touching the net and landing near. It is for placing for possess. The net shot is taken from the net, meaning it was executed near the net. So backhand grip was used in performing this stroke. So here's the sample video exiting executing that stroke. Class, watch it carefully. Again, class, any volunteer to do this skill? Yes, Kabigod. Excellent, Kabigod. Next skill, we have drive shot. Will you please read, Gregorio? Thank you, Gregorio. So, the drive shot is hit hard on a horizontal or slightly downward, but usually played down the slides, the sidelines of the court. This is a safe shot in badminton, and if played correctly, it will force an opponent to hit an upward return, giving the other player to a chance to attack. Class, this kind of stroke is really fast, quick, flat, and very powerful. Take a look at the picture. As you can see, the travel of the shuttlecock is downward. It should be flat and pointed. It will give you an advantage because usually when you give this kind of counterattack, your opponent will give you an upward return, making it easy for you to give a rather powerful shot. Again, here's the video sample of the stroke. So, any volunteer to perform this stroke class? Yes, Pineda. Great job, Pineda. Now, let's move on the last topic of stroke, which is the smash. So, smash shot is a shot done with the stroke above the head. The shuttle traveling down with power and the speed. This uh, shot is considered as one of the most powerful attacks in the sport. This is hit with the power and speed but needs time. If it is executed nicely and not dependent by the opponent, it will surely give you a point. So here's this example video executing this kind of stroke. Please watch it carefully. So again class, you know the drill. Who wants to demonstrate it? Yes, Sabas. Very good, Sabas. Well done. Alright, class. Did you understand the basic types of badminton strokes? Let's see if you can remember the basic types of badminton strokes. Can you please enumerate it to me, any volunteer class? Yes, Vicente. Very good, Vicente. So, are we clear with the basic skills of badminton class? Do you have any question? Now, let's see if you really understood and learned everything that we have discussed in today's lesson. So, at this time, class, you need to demonstrate all the skills that we have discussed earlier. Don't worry, class. I'll guide you to perform it properly. Are we clear with, the, with that class? So for the direction, the students will be divided into three groups. Each group will demonstrate the skill that the teacher will ask them to do. And, all right, I will group you into three groups and each group needs to demonstrate the skill that I will be asking you to do. The first group, Santos, Angelo Montano, Santos Noel de Guzman, Gregorio Martinez, Yana Santiago, Sabas, Casey Lapin. 
for the group two, we have Mumuntos Marjorie Ramos, Montefal Cabellin, Abigail Rabosa, Erdilian V. Castillo, Agustin Jimuel Jander Persar. The next group, Kilo May Agustin, Arceo Gavin Marino, Otista Nizel Artus, Eduardo Ritura, Regent Castillo Ganiban. So please remember what group are your class. So for the group 1, two types of grouping. Group 2, basic fundamentals groups, which are clear shot, lab shot, and rough shot. And for the group 3, basic fundamentals group, net shot, vibe shot, and smash shot. So group 1, will you perform the two types of gripping in badminton? And group 2, group 3, will perform the six, base, the six basic stroke and group 2 will perform the first three basic stroke which are the clear shot and rap shot. While the group 3 will perform the net shot, rap shot, line shot, and smash shot. Are we clear class? So timer starts now. Okay, time's up. Group 1, are you ready? 400. Okay, please. Perform and show me this skill. Be careful where you to put your fingers. You need to make the V-shape. Okay. Very good, group 1. Next type of gripping, we have back hand grip. Now demonstrate it, class. The back hand grip is like making the thumbs up while holding your racket. That's it, class. You did great. How about group 2? Please stand up and you will perform the three basic strokes in badminton. Are you ready, group 2? So first, please perform the clear shot. Class, be careful with the movements of your hands. Excellent, class. So, last rope, we have drop shot. So, here's the video. Please demonstrate it, group 2. Nice one, group 2. Group 1 and group 2, as a beginner, you are great. But to, to become a good badminton player, you need more practice for different skills. Next group, please stand up. You know the drill? You have to demonstrate the three more basic strokes. And those are the net shot, or net, net drop, rhyme shot, and smash shot. Are you ready, group three? Okay, please perform net drop shot. Class, please imagine that you have a shuttlecock and that you are going to strike when are executing the skills. Great job, class. Next skill, class. Next, we have the drive shot. Please proceed, group three. That's it. Nice one, class. Last rope, we have the smash shot. Please perform group 3. So good job class, you did a great job. Thank you class for participating. So give yourself a 3 claps and a 3 stops. Any question so far class? So if, so if you don't have any question then I have a question for you class. So class, what do you think is the importance of executing the skills properly, especially during the gameplay? Any volunteer to answer class? Anyone from the class? Yes, Yong Kong. That's correct. Thank you for your idea. Class, he is right. If you don't execute the skills properly in badminton or even in all kinds of sports, then you will not give a high performance in the game. Am I right? Remember, class, that the skills that we have discussed earlier requires organization, motivation, strength, flexibility, and critical thinking. And always remember, class, that if you want to play a particular sport, like badminton, you must develop the skills first. The better you can execute the skill, the better you can perform in the sport. This is the reason why players really need training for them to be able to execute the skills needed to win a game. I hope you understand the importance of proper execution of skills. Do you class?
that's good so do you have any more questions okay let's move to your performance task so for the direction create a video performing all the basic skills in badminton including two types of gripping and the five basic strokes in badminton and the student video performance will be graded by the rubrics provided and your video should be submitted by next week monday at 6 p.m and you will be graded based on the rubrics for excellent so for the rubrics for excellent 90 to 100 the student perform and execute the skills properly and the presentation of the video is clean and not messy and the overall performance and presentation was excellent the students submitted it on or before the deadline and good 80 to 89 the students performed the skills with some error and the students video presentation was somewhat bad and the students submitted it three days after the deadline so for the satisfa satisfactory 70 to 79 the student performed the skills with many errors the students video presentation was not clear and the students submitted it one week after the deadline and for the last names work 0 to 60 the students performance was poor and the students submitted it two weeks after the deadline and for your assignment, do a research about the following skills, including their types, observing footwork styles. So direction, write your answer in a band paper, write well and readable, take a picture of your output. If you have a scanner, scan it and upload it to your template. And if you have a question, just chat with our UC. The deadline is May 23, 2022 until 11.59 p.m. That's all for today, class. I hope you learned a lot, class. So, class dismissed.